Hey guys, what's up? Um, back again with another video. Um, back again with another prediction video, actually. As uh, um, as many of you may not know, or many of you may know, depending on who you may are and what whatever you may do. Um, today, or you know, technically today, if you're here, here in the UK, uh, you know, whatever Friday, the twentieth of uh, August. Uh, we have uh, Impact Wrestling Emerge Emergence. Uh, so I'm gonna do some predictions for that. I mean, I decided, you know, I'd uh, just got through um, catching up on Impact from this week on Impact, and I thought, why not? Let's do some predictions for, for uh, today's event, for today's uh, for Friday, for Friday's uh, Emergence um, predictions. So let's do this, shall we? Let's get on with the news. The news? What am I on about? I don't fucking know anymore. I've lost my damn mind. <laughs> uh, first match, we have uh, the opener, which might be the opener. We have um, the four members of Decay, which is Rosemary, Havoc, uh, Crazy Steve, and uh, Black Taurus, or whatever you want, how you pronounce it, taking on the team of Falabar. Uh, Falabar. Uh, who the fuck is the other one? Oh, Falabar, uh, No Way, you know, the former No Way Jose, uh, um, Tasha Steeles and her new, uh, her new uh, bodyguard, which I can't remember the name of. <laughs> I should remember these names. Uh, as, I, as I said before, I'm just still, ca I'm still catching up with Impact, so kind of, kind of new to this st Impact stuff, too. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I've got uh, DK on this one. I think DK, uh, you know, they're much... Consist consistent unit, uh, you know, with Havoc and Rosemary and Crazy Steve and Black Taurus. Um, I feel like they're gonna win this one, and uh, it'll be a good opener. So I got DK on that one. Uh, second match up on the on the according to my uh, according to my a a, a, love, a, a glorious my glorious um, notes here. We have Matt Cardona taking on Rohit Raju. Um, I have Matt Cardona on this one. He just, uh, you know, he just tonight on Impact uh, just beat um, Shira, so I think he's gonna keep that momentum going. He's gonna defeat um, Rohit Razu, and uh, bygone be bygone, right? And he can move on. Moving on. Speaking of moving on, we have the returning Madison Rain uh, taking on Taylor Wilde. Uh, I feel like Madison Rain's gonna get this one. Uh, I feel like Madison Rain's gonna win. Uh, she just recently came back after supposedly retiring, but she's actually she was actually she said on Twitter that she just she wasn't retired. She was just tired, and she went on vacation. So she's back now. Uh, she's teaming up with Tennille Dashwood, and Tennille Dashwood's gonna be at ringside. Taylor Wilde's got nobody in her, in her corner, so I think I feel like that's the 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 way out for Taylor Wilde to lose this match. I feel like uh, Madison Rain's gonna get the win on this one. So, yeah, Madison Rain get pick up that big W. Next match we have uh, we have the uh, we have De Durant, Gianna Perazzo and uh, Matthew, uh, the former Aiden English. I can't remember his name in Impact. I'm still learning. Uh, yeah, the former Aiden English, King Matthew, as I'm gonna call him. Uh, for take that, the Gianna Perazzo and uh, King Matthew taking on. Uh, Trey and Trey Miguel and Molina. Um, this is set up because Molina has got a title match at a, the NWA in Power Show, the All Women's event against uh, Gianna Perazzo. So, and, and of course, uh, Trey helped to uh, helped her out that to last night on Impact. Um, to uh, what's the word? To uh, run off uh, Gianna Perazzo and uh, King Matthew, as I call him, in English. And uh, yeah, so I reckon uh, Trey and Molina are going to pick up this one uh, because I don't think Molina is going to win at um, in power. So I feel like Trey and Molina pick up the victory here, and uh, you know they get the W, and then Molina will go on to lose to Diana Perazzo at um, in power, which very looking very looking forward to. Then we have the uh, tag team titles on the line. We have the Good Brothers. Taking on uh, Violent by Design and uh, and Rich Swan and Willie Mack in a triple threat tag team match. Uh, pretty intrigued about this one. 
Um, Joe Doring just knocked off uh, Luke Gallows on Impact in the Impact main event in a big man match. So, very impressed with that one. Uh, I feel like the Good Brothers are going to retain here. Uh, I feel like there's more stock in the Good Brothers as tag team champions, especially with their uh, their teasing a feud with uh, the Gorillas of Destiny from New Japan, uh, which should be fun. Uh, I feel like that's going to happen towards Bound for Glory time. Uh, I would love to see it in like you know Impact Bound for Glory or AEW or anywhere New Japan whatever. Uh, I'm a big fan. <clears throat> Of the idea of the Good Brothers versus uh, Gorillas of Destiny, you know that Bullet Club connection. So uh, yeah, I, I got the Good Brothers to retain here, and maybe we'll see an appearance in God. Who knows? Uh, very excited about that potential. But the potential there is uh, unbelievable. Then we have uh, the X Division Championship match. We have the champion Josh Alexander taking on the challenger Jake Something. That's his name, Jake Something, not. You know, I'm not. I'm not forgetting people's names. <laughs> I swear on this occasion. Um, this is going to be a big meaty meat feast match. Uh, I can't wait. It should be fun. Uh, Jake Something's a really good, and uh, Josh Alexander's a really great X Division champion. He's had it since uh, Rebellion. He won it in April at Rebellion, beating Ace Austin and TJP. Um, I feel like Jake Something. I think not. Not Jake Something. I feel like Josh Alexander is going to retain here. I got Josh Alexander to retain because uh, um, I feel like the next match I'm going to talk about. I feel like he the the next match, the next the, the winner of the next match, or what I'm going to talk about, he will be next in line for Josh Alexander. So uh, yeah, so Josh Alexander to win, get the big W and retain that X Division Championship to the pay window, as they say. Uh, next match uh, we have uh, Petey Williams taking on Steve Macklin. Uh, I have Steve Macklin to win this one. Uh, I feel like he's been on a bit of a roll as of late. Uh, you know, since his debut. Uh, that This is the former Steve Cutler from WWE. Uh, you know, uh, he's targeted Petey Williams, but he also wants... Uh, he's got his eye on Josh Alexander. So, I think Steve Macklin picks up the victory over Petey Williams and, you know, starts a program with Josh Alexander at some point down the line for the x Championship. Boom! There you go. So picks up the W there, in my opinion. Steve Cutler. No, it's not Steve Cutler. Steve Macklin. Got to get used to that name right now. <laughs> You've only been doing this for quite a while, Nathan. <laughs> anyway, um, next matchup. We have uh, a fail four-way to determine, or a four-way to determine the no next number one contender for the Impact World Championship. Uh, we have Ace Austin taking on Moose, taking on Sammy Callahan, taking on Chris Sabin. Um, this one's interesting. Um, I have a, it's very easy for me. I have, I, feel, I have a feeling it's very easy. Uh, Chris Sabin won on Impact uh, in the tag team match they just had tonight on Impact. So, and he's a baby face, so I don't think he's going to win the. the, the um, I don't think he's going to be next in line for the World Championship. Him and Moose have some unfinished business. So I don't think you know the one and what the one and one apiece, and it matches. So I think there's a uh, uh, um, a third match in their counter. So I don't think they're gonna win. And Sammy Callan's a baby face, kind of a baby face too. So I think Ace Austin, uh, the heel, uh, is going to win this match. And I'll tell you about that more in a minute. Uh, after um, I'll tell you more about why I think Ace Austin is gonna win because. Um, the next match is for the Impact World Championship. It's the new champion Christian Cage taking on Bri uh, the number one contender Brian Myers. Um, this is weird, man, because it's it's like I know the WWE experts out there are just basically saying like, oh, this is just Christian versus Kurt Hawkins from WWE. Oh, in the main event. Um, Brian Myers since going to Impact has been kind of dominant. Uh, even though. It it has it, he still has that to me he still has that that uh, scratch of Kurt Hawkins in him like it's still it's gonna take a a lot it's gonna take a long time for me to get that Kurt Hawkins scratch you know that that Kurt Hawkins uh, scratch off off of him but I think he can do it uh, you know main event against the new Impact World Champion Christian. Uh, I don't see Christian losing. Uh, I, I think Christian, he's only just won the belt by beating the 
the the greatest wrestler ever, supposedly, in Kenny Omega. So I don't think Christian's going to lose the title to Brian Myers. Uh, no offense to Brian Myers. Uh, the reason why I think Ace Austin's going to win is because I feel like this will be an incredible um, task for Ace Austin to be in the ring with uh, someone, a veteran like Christian Cage. You know, the next match. Um, I think Christian. I think Christian will beat Ace Austin, but I feel like it's a learning pattern for Ace Austin. You know, he's he's still young. I think he's like what 23, 24? God, oh man, God oh my, he's younger than me. That's that's scary. That's really fucking scary. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, I think Ace Austin uh, will learn something from Christian. I think he will. You know, being in the ring with Christian, I think Christian. Will teach him a couple of things, you know. Teach him, you know, the the old the, the old guard uh, will beat the young guard uh, in the future. You know, I'll be that'll mean the future. But uh, I feel like um, I feel like I'm repeating myself right now. But I'm trying to get to the point. I keep I keep coming across it. Anyway, I think uh, Christian will win. Uh, Christian will beat Brian Myers, and he will, you know, he will go on and have a, a good match with Ace Austin, where Ace Austin will have. You know, a tremendous match with uh, Christian. Uh, and Ace Austin can learn uh, from Christian. And so on and so on. Uh, you know, because he, he is, you know, Ace Austin's a good, you know, he's a good wrestler. But, you know, he's got plenty to learn from. And uh, I think Christian will be a good a good test for Ace Austin. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. There you go, guys. There's my uh, Impact Wrestling Emergence 2021 predictions for uh, tonight basically uh, as I record this uh, hope you if you enjoy if you watch impact uh, if you watch impact uh, have, have a nice time um, if you don't know how to watch I think it's on impact plus if you have uh, you have to have the impact plus app or accounts or whatever blah blah and uh, so this, uh, there you go there you go guys that's it have a nice time and uh, be safe out there and take care of yourselves and uh, I'll see you next time right here. Kaboosh.